Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. The hyperlink action is a great way to increase interactivity between your dashboards, uh, creates a more seamless experience for the user, and can be a little bit intimidating if you haven't done it before. So we're going to walk you through some of the tips and tricks and actually how to use the, the URL feed action. I've actually got these two so that you select one of these dots here and it pulls up sales by region. What I want to do is be able to create, just click on one of these dots and go directly to Google. I may have already created this action, so I apologize. So here's the action I had created previously. We're going to edit it. Just got your name. This looks just like every other action, right? We're on select. I'm going to have go to Google. I'm not going to test the link here. Uh, if you have a little more complicated link, you may want to test it to make sure you have the right one. But to be honest, what I usually do is just copy the link that I want, or the address that I want, and paste it in here. Click OK. Click OK. And now if I click on a dot anywhere, it sends me to Google. Well, that's really great, right? Well, let's, let's take this up a notch. We're actually going to, let's put in south. And the, here's what I'm showing you. Put in south so I can get the address here. I don't need everything. I'm just going to get rid of, I'm just going to highlight this so that I know what the, what the syntax is for the search. Let's go back to actions, go to hyperlink. And pass this here. So the first example was just going to a website. Now we're going to actually pass a parameter. Let's get rid of south. And now off to the right here, you'll see a little arrow. We can click this, and this is going to give us all the options, all the fields that are on that particular scatter by region. You can see we've got uh, negative profit, order ID, product name profit, quantity, and region. Usually profit, quantity, region, all these aggregate functions aren't going to do you a lot of good, especially if we're going to go to Google. Order ID might not do us a lot of good. Let's actually, let's put in product name. Select product name. And uh, it puts it in greater than, less than symbols. Now you'll notice that there is a Q here, a question mark, I mean, that's indicating that uh, criteria are coming later. And then the equal sign, let's hit OK, hit OK. Let's pick a dot, and this is south, so we should be querying on, oh, no, I'm sorry. We said easy staple paper, right? That was product name that we selected. And over here, you can see that was the easy staple paper. We'll unselect that. Let's pick this item. Fewer. And so now when we go here, we're going to be looking up 3D systems cube printer. 3D systems cube printer. So it already populates it for us. So that's great if it's Google. But what if we want to go and we actually want to go to a different dashboard that we own? So I'm going to come to actions and I've already developed this you've got a name product inf and it's going to go off the scatter plot that's what this one is called this one's called scatter plot and you'll notice that I have menu selected when I'm doing URL actions I typically select menu just because there's so much going on in a chart people have a tendency to click on uh, dots and that way you can see the tooltip pop up, if you have any filters on the screen, those can uh, trigger, or if you have highlighting. So I like to do a menu so that it's a specific action, an additional step the user has to use to get to the, their website. The name in this case is going to be very important because that is the name, that is of the hyperlink that the user is going to see. Now you could test this link here. I'm not going to because we don't have a product name selected. You can see here that we have selected product name and it's in the, the greater than less than symbols. This is the page that we want to go to 
And then there's the question mark, starting the, the criteria that we're going to be, the parameter that we're passing to this field. And the field in the desired web page, the, the dashboard that we have, it's called product name. And there's a space between the product and the name, just like here. And so we need to put in the percent 20. That's the URL code for space. So we're saying we want the product name of our this dashboard that we have to be called um, to put product name here. Once again, or maybe I haven't mentioned this yet, if you have an alias under the product name or whatever field you're trying to pass, it's the alias value that gets passed, not the underlying value, but the alias value. So if you're passing an alias value to another dashboard that ha is going off of the underlying value, you'll have to be very careful. Uh, you'll have to do some manipulation and maybe add the original value. So now we're going to select OK. We're going to pick this one. You can see the same label. We're going to go there. And here you see easy staple paper, the chart. One of the things to be aware of that we ran into is some of these bullets, if they have multiple items on there, like this one appears to have 3D systems, Q printer, second generation, magenta. We ran into some problems here because the comma and the issue we ran into with that particular item is that that comma Tableau is reading that as multiple items. And so it's saying we're looking for 3D 20 systems, 20 Q, uh, 3D systems cube printer. Well, if you look in here, we don't have any 3D systems cube printer. We have only 3D systems cube printer, comma, second generation, comma, magenta. When you're passing that URL, Tableau is looking for each of those three items and none of those items are there individually. So this might be an instance where you want to include product uh, ID number to get make sure you get to the right item. Now, how does that look? How does this screen look when you're pulling it up? This is, I have it under product summary. We have three dashboards or uh, worksheets and you'll see that they have product name and it's linked to these other sheets. So when your selection comes, it fills in the product name for all of these sheets. And that's how it filters. Obviously you can pass multiple. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but quick filters doesn't work with quick filters. It has to be an item that you're actually selecting here on the chart. What I would do in this case here is just copy this whole thing, paste it, and then you see that the product name, how the product name looks, and then you just put in the, uh, from the little arrows, the arrow and drop that in. I hope you find that interesting and helpful and now maybe takes some of the intimidation away from using URL, the URL action. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that video helpful. Hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And check out my other videos to learn even more about Tableau.